I I'm gonna be notorious for like making endless videos because I cannot edit and I have the loudest flappiest mouth of the fucking universe fluffing fluffing I'm working on it I'm sorry this is the first day okay we're gonna keep track first day okay I'm sorry I'm correcting myself we're working on it okay it's only the first day like we're working on it. it's a slow process okay ah <sighs> Um, I hate triangles, okay? Triangles remind me of math. I hate math. I also hate triangles because the Bermuda Triangle, like, monsters. Everything gets lost in the Bermuda Triangle. Also, storms kill people in the Bermuda Triangle. And then, also, triangles love triangles. Suck. Also, three. Three is not an ugly lucky number but like i don't like three because it's uneven okay like um and i like triangles like i just don't also i was never able to put, like draw a pyramid and i used to always want to draw a pyramid as a kid i still kind of do but like i can't draw a pyramid so like that's another reason i don't like triangles like triangles suck like suck my hairy cojones okay like i will not fluffing touch a triangle if my life depended on it also, fun fact, the locals of Paris hate the Eiffel Tower. And you know what the Eiffel Tower is shaped as? A triangle. So, I hate triangles. Like, there's so many reasons why I hate triangles. One of the main reasons being that I hate love triangles. But also because I hate math and triangles have to do with both. So, I don't like triangles. So yeah, fuck it. Fluff it. Plus, triangles, like, impale people. Like, have you seen the many action movies where, like, triangles have impaled people? Like, that is insane. Also, like, triangles are just, like, ridiculous. Like, I hate triangles. Like, I don't know how to justify this other than I hate triangles also. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Fluff. I don't know what the fluff I'm talking about. So, don't take my word for it. Also, how many videos have I made today? And also, I'm still hungry. And I didn't eat any of my soup. Like, that one sip that I took in my last video, like, that was my dinner. Like, I mean, my late dinner, whatever. Like, I did not eat anymore. It was disgusting. Like, I couldn't do it. <sighs> um. I just want pizza or, like, fast food or a burger. I haven't had a burger in a while. Actually, that's a lie. I had a burger this week. But, like, still hungry. I wish I could drive. Or I wish I could walk in the dark and like not be like scared for my life. Like if I lived in the country, I would be totally fine walking in the dark. It's serene. I love walking in the dark. But like in the city walking in the dark, it's fluffing terrifying, okay? Like <laughs> Kawaii. Triangles suck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what else to talk about. I just... I needed to get off my chest that tri triangles suck, okay? Like, I hate triangles. Like, they, they're awful. Like, who even invented triangles? Like, they're awful. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. So, like, wow. Someone who doesn't like no one to stop talking. Like, here we are. Making a video of me talking because I can't shut up. But I can't think what to talk about. So I'm talking about not knowing what to talk about. <laughs> wow. Obsessive much. <sighs> um... The house smells like disgusting glam chowder. What did I just decide to cook that? Oh yeah, I was starving, but also it's disgusting. I can't cook for shit. Why do I even try? I love fast food. I don't have any money. I'm like, I can't leave because it's so dark. And it's like, literally...
It's all 1203. Okay. It's midnight. Well, I'm hungry, but we don't have any food. Oh, por favor, por mer. No, que suita. I don't even talk in different languages. Like, literally, the only languages I know semi. Semi known languages of mine are Japanese and Spanish. That's it. But I want to learn more, so. I guess continually talking about them and the slipping in words in Spanish and Japanese will help me memorize them more. And, like, practice, I guess. Even though I probably sound like an idiot because I'm butchering them so bad because I'm gringo, hapa, whatever. I don't know if I can call it. Fluffing. Sorry, I'm an awkward human being. I also haven't made my bed yet because I just haven't. Maybe I should film me struggling to make my bed. That would be entertaining, right? Also, my nails are long enough to like start splitting. You see what they do when they get too long and they start breaking off and splitting, and then they get like jagged and then like get caught on everything. And it's really annoying, but I don't want to cut my nails because cutting my nails is such a long process because I'm so clumsy and slow and weak that like it's a process to cut my damn nails. Also, I really like them long because I hate to claw people. But also, I don't really like them long because, like, they snag on everything. They're also, like, I don't paint them because I don't have any paint nail polish. And then, so that means, like, every little itty-bitty disgusting thing that I do is present underneath my nails. And it's gross. Did I mention I'm disgusting? I want to move. Yeah. I think that hour long nap is going to sustain me like throughout the rest of the night. Oh. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, I mean, I guess I could try and sleep, but. <laughs> Sleeping is overrated. Ugh. 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 Also, there's a lot less stress for me to take the test for like D and B because my friend was talking to me about it and he said that it's so, like a lot of it is common sense. And then like if you really need to study it, then study like a little bit, but like a lot of it is common sense, he said. And so I was like, that kind of gave me confidence enough to, like, take the test. So, I'm going to take the test soon. And then, after that, I'm going to, like, sign up for those, like, dumb classes that are ridiculously expensive and start practicing driving. And then, hopefully, by junior year, I'll finally have a license or a permit and be able to ride. Or at least know how to drive. So that I can drive places and like drive my grandma places so she doesn't like, you know, in the real place. And then like drive myself places so I'm not as helpless. And yeah. Also it means I could do like a lone bird trip vlogs, which will be freak fluffing amazing. Like, oh I'm so excited. Um and then once I learn how to drive, I can apply for my job that I really, really want. Because I'll probably be 18 by the time I finally have my permit or license. And then I can apply for my job. And then finally get income. And I'll be so flipping happy. Call me a dolphin, sweetie. Because, like, I'm heading to the happiness of a dolphin. I'm so happy. <laughs> You 
know, having goals makes me feel secure, but if I have goals too ahead and I just stare at them, like, it's not going to get me anywhere as fast. It's just going to make me unsatisfied, so I need to make goals that are closer, also very attainable, and not stress about them, and then have further goals that are my dreams that are attainable and realistic, but are also, like, don't stress over them so much because then I'm not satisfied and then I'm not as happy as I could be because like I stress about them too much so like I have little mini goals that I focus on and I accomplish and I feel satisfied with but then I also have my bigger goals that I'm working towards with those smaller goals like if that makes any sense because like I'm happy like I'm the happiest I've been in since I lost my innocence and like i'm by no means unhappy i'm just like unsatisfied because i keep focusing on the future so like what i need to do is stop focusing so much in the future at least stop focusing so far into the future like i can have plans i can have goals and dreams i just need to stop focusing on them so much because focusing on them makes me stressed and making me stressed makes me unsatisfied makes me unhappy even though i truly am happy because this is the happiest i've been in at least a decade and like that's a long fucking time okay sweetie like let me be happy dreams like don't focus on them so damn much so yeah you're attractive guapa soy guapa lies <laughs> lies Oh my god, okay, um, I don't know, don't know what to say, hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to continue reading my book even though I'm not exactly happy with how it's played out so far. Like, it was doing fucking flipping fantastic. And then it turned around and was like, fluff you. And I was like, excuse me? And then I'm continuing reading it because it's a good story. And I hope it has a good ending. But if it doesn't have a good ending, then fluff this book. And if they try to make a sequel out of it, fluff this book even further. And I will not read the sequel. Fluff that, I probably will. But, like, I'm not going to be happy reading the sequel. That's a lie. God. Just, like, I don't want it to end bad, okay? And I don't want it her to push a sequel. Because, like, her books are long. Like, I've read this author's books before. Like, her books are really long. Like, I... Like, as much as I enjoy her writing, like, I want to explore new authors. Like, I don't want to keep writing or reading your books. I'm sorry. But, like, I just don't like this. Sometimes you get, like, too comfortable in a person's writing style that you're kind of like, let's switch it up a bit. And, like, that's what I want to do. And so if she makes a sequel, I'm probably going to read it, but I'm not going to be that happy reading it because, like, I want to explore new books. And, like, if this author keeps hooking me into her books i'm going to find her teleport there and possibly and slap her and then like run back and then like continue reading my books <laughs> um okay i'm gonna get my wide ass potato ass face out of your face so that you don't have to surf it through this and then say goodbye sayonara buenos noches adios how do you say goodbye into Japanese again? For some reason, I keep wanting to say sumasen, which is I'm sorry, or sabados, which is Sunday in Spanish, so no. Sayonara, sayonara. That's goodbye in, in Japanese. This is why I need to keep implementing some of those words that I know in my everyday language, even though I sound ridiculous and look stupid, probably, because I butcher it. And, like, people don't understand what I'm saying. But, like, I want to, like, continue remembering it. I want to keep it with me. So that, like, 
when I travel to Honduras to visit my dad, like, I know a little bit of Spanish, and I know that I'll future, like, I will travel to, like, more countries that speak Spanish, and so I want to know, like, the basics, and I want to know, like, I want to remember the stuff that I'm learning. And then also, when I travel to Japan, I want to learn, remember the stuff that I know, too. Plus, also, it just, like, makes me feel closer to my history, because even though I'm not part Spanish, like, I was raised by a Spanish nanny for, like, two years, and I, like, my first word was a Spanish word, and my mom loves Spanish, like, a lot of her closest friends when she was growing up were Spanish, so, like, in a way, I feel like I am sort of Spanish, but, like, in heart, I don't know if that makes any sense, I'm probably, like, fucking, like, so being, like, offensive right now, and I'm sorry, um, and then Japanese, I don't know why I said it's so weird, but, like, it's obviously part of me because it's, like, part of my blood and, like, it's part of my history and, like, I want to keep it with me. So, 